out here. <laughs> Hello, little girls. Oh. oh my god, you are the cutest little thing. I don't think I can handle this. Look at that. Just hiding. Keeping warm, the two of you. Oh, that is a precious moment for the two of them. <laughs> Trying to climb on top of the other one. Oh, this is a proper cuteness overload. Look at those perfectly round ears. Hello, guys. Good to see you. Are you a bit sleepy? Aww. You're lucky that you've got a playmate, don't you? Both of you. That is a very beautiful thing between the two of them. And you see typical hyena, that movement where they put their nose up and just try to catch the scent and anything that might be floating around. Now, I can't really see any of the adults here, so I'm not too sure if perhaps they are on the other side of the mound. So, I'm just going to stick around for a few moments and maybe scan the area while these two are quite happy and sleepy there. But if we don't see any of the adults, then we're going to have to leave the den. Because we're not allowed to spend too much time here, if they are not here. Oh, that is such a precious little face. Look at that. I think these two are becoming some of my favorite little creatures around. And just because they sleep one on top of the other. Now, <laughs> I'm sure it's the weather that's affecting everyone and that's why they're sleeping the way that they are now. And it's a lot more comfortable where you can sleep on top of another hyena, isn't it? You agree, hey? Now, normally, the hyenas will have a babysitter, an, an adult that stays behind and looks after the youngsters. But, um, I can't really see any of them around here. Now, there's also, at the back of the Tremai Mound, we know that that's where the adults like to hang out. So I wonder if perhaps some of them are at the back there. <laughs> this is too much. Tess, you're wondering what's the approximate age difference between the two cubs. Well, I would guess maybe about two, three months of age difference between them. Perhaps a little bit more. But they're still both of them quite young. And they are confined to remaining in the den while the adults go out hunting and marking their territory and fighting and whatever it is else that they might want to get up to during the night. So this is safety this is home for them they used to be at another den at a certain distance from here and uh, in the last few weeks we believe they've just been making home of this beautiful termite mound which is a perfect setting for them there's a hole behind where the two of them are so if there was anything that would make them feel threatened they could very quickly go back down into the mound and then just be safe away from anything now also the both of them very young you see that they are of dark colors especially the younger one they only start getting lighter and start getting the spots as they get older but when they are so small and tiny that dark color just if they were to hurry back down the den it also allows them to blend in a little bit be better in the den and making it harder for anyone to be able to spot them once they go down there Sarah, you're saying that their ears are huge. Well, they are, and they act as very good satellite dishes, picking up all the noises and everything that's around them. So, they, as you can imagine, they've got a very good sense of hearing. Although I think these little ones still need to grow into their ears. But even as adults, one of the most prominent features of a hyena are just those very big ears. You guys are so, so cute. But I think this is the perfect way to spend this morning. <laughs> it seems like the little cub is not moving. Doesn't matter what Antima tries to do. <laughs> I think maybe you're getting a bit impatient there. Oh, you're so cute. 
James, you're saying you're surprised at how often they are outside of the den. Well, I would assume that it gets a bit boring inside of the den, not too many things to come around, and then also they want to come out here. There's so many things that can stimulate them, that they can hear, that they can smell. But they're also quite, by instinct, quite clever, and they know that this is a safe area, so they would not wander off too far on their own. And now... <laughs> I think maybe they have been sleeping inside for, for too long and that's why they've decided now to spend some time outside. I wonder, there's something that they are looking at in the distance but I can't figure out what it is. Hmm. You two are so adorable. Dear Watcher, you're wondering if the older one eats meat now. Um, I haven't seen it eat meat. They normally start only eating little pieces of meat at around about five months old. And I think this one might not be five months old yet. And they only go out and eat meat if either perhaps one of the parents on occasion brings something back to the den. Or if there's a kill nearby, then they might just try that but other not otherwise if not then they just purely survive in milk and they can suckle for almost a year and a half sometimes they have a very very the mothers provide a very very nutritious milk and it's believed that part of the reason why that milk is so nutritious is because of that high content in calcium in their diet that allows them to to produce a lot more milk or for a lot longer than some of the other creatures because it's a very late weaning age for them I mean, if you think about it, most animals are weaned at around about four, six months old, and these guys, for about a year, and sometimes even up to two years, are carried on being suckled by their mothers. Oh no! I don't want to get down! Michael, you're wondering how long this bond will between the two of them last. Well, likely until the little one starts getting older. And uh, hyenas are very competitive, very competitive nature amongst them. So once they start trying to prove who's of a higher rank, then I reckon that bond is going to start severing, not being as beautiful as it is now. But I think probably we have a few months ahead of us, and these two being quite tolerant of each other, they only have each other to play with. So Intima's actually still being quite gentle. Normally, the little hyenas, they can be quite, uh, they, they can bully each other quite a lot, and you'll see them biting one, especially if it's a lower ranked or if it's a cub from a lower ranked female. Yep, off we go. We are tired. It's cold out here. See, and Tima's very clever at keeping guard and knowing what's around. So she also knows uh, that the safest place is to go down there, and so it does a little cub. So it'll just follow and Tima around. Seems like it's learning a few tricks. Shame, but I think the little cub is quite cold, so wherever and Tima goes, that's where the little cub is gonna go, just for warmth. <laughs> I don't think you can sit on top of her. <laughs> Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> I think the smaller cub is forcing Tima <laughs> onto this this bond. <laughs> Very beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to investigate around the den see if perhaps the adults are here so that we can stick around for a while longer but if they are not here then i'm gonna have to leave them which is a little bit unfortunate because we all enjoy the company of these little hyenas but while i do that we can go over to taylor that's got something that she found at last <laughs> 